Yesterday was your B-Day. My B-Day. Happy Born Day. Thank you, man. I think birth birthdays are stressful. Why? I don't know. I, I mean, I've been thinking about it. It's a, it's a weird, yeah, it's a weird time. I mean, it seems like a, yeah, it's a weird time. Why? I don't know. I, I had a lot of anxiety around my birthday. Really? Yeah. You're getting another year older and you got a lot more responsibilities now. And I think it's probably hitting you. And Lord have mercy, I'm a fucking adult. Yeah, yeah. You're knocking on 40, bro. Where you at now? Yeah, I'm 39 years old. Ooh. Yeah. I think there's definitely like age as a component. I think it's also like, uh, it's the only day a year where there's like an expectation of treatment. Like every other day. Go. Every, you know what I'm saying? Like every other day, there's no expectation <laughs> of treatment. Right. But on your birthday, for whatever reason, there's an expectation of people reaching out or saying something to you. And I know it's completely arbitrary and irrational. And I'm not like a, I try not to be like sensitive about these things, but I found myself getting caught up in it. Like, oh, did this person wish me happy birthday? And I'm like, who gives a fuck? Like, people are busy. They have their own lives. They're doing these things. But it was weird to have that kind of anxiety. Or I don't know, anxiety, but like um, almost potential letdown, you know? And that doesn't happen to me with any other day. I know exactly what you mean. And it's the weirdest thing. It's weird how the human brain works, right? Because I, I feel like I'm very low maintenance. Like, yeah. I, I would rather do for people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. actually be the person getting things done to Definitely. them, right? Like, yeah. it, it just makes me uneasy. Like, my, yeah. I even spoke to my therapist about this, like, um, receiving joy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or letting people do things for you. Yeah. Like, she, she broke it down about how, you know, it's like trust issues and I don't want to... You know, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't want to be disappointed by people. You well, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you have expect, you, you shouldn't have any expectations for anybody. Yeah, right. And you shouldn't yeah. expect you from other people. So it's just yeah. like I would rather be the person showing the love than receiving it. Yeah. But it's weird, right? Because you you say that me. until you don't get it. You disappointed me. You didn't come to my birthday. I sent you a bottle of wine, though. Well, you're supposed to do that and come to my birthday. <laughs> it's, it's not one or the other. <laughs> but what's interesting about that? Is but but that's unfair because you have your life and you have the things that you need to do. No, I'm just scared of them all. It's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's just literally like I want to go to Schultz's birthday, but it's at the mall. But it's it's at a wave pool that I rented out. That's a private. Oh, you didn't say that. You didn't add all of that. You did not say private. You just said I'm doing it at the the surf place at this the mall. Guy. You did not say that. You, now you speak but, in my language. But here's here. But here's a perfect example where it's just like I can't let. Like narcissism is the world revolves around you and everybody should drop everything for you. Mm -hmm. And then that's not narcissism. I don't believe that. Uh, well, we can debate that. But mm -hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say is like, but this is a perfect it's like birthdays almost like lend themselves to your narcissism. It's like an excuse for narcissism when you should have the same. I should go. No, people have things to do in their lives. Like you had to do something you had. And my till screening. You had yeah. your till screening like there are other things you had to do. So there's this moment where I'm like, oh, I really wish my friend made it happen for this day but at the same time Shit, now you're making me feel bad see what the fuck i'm, <laughs> see what I'm saying God well i'm just trying to express how i feel no now you you're making me feel fucking bad, feel yeah. bad no but you, but you see what i'm saying because it's like this if it was just like yo well, let's go surfing on a saturday right then and you couldn't come you'd be like yeah people are busy but there's you have one birthday a year so all of a sudden you start putting this pressure like oh if people really fuck with me they would sacrifice for this day when it's not fair, people have their lives and they have other things that they need to do. And that's how I treat shit. I miss people's birthday all the time. Now you feel bad. Mm -hmm. I do. But it, my goal isn't for you to feel bad. My I goal think it is was. to take yeah. it. I think that was your sole goal. Well, I, it feels better you feel bad. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel a little bit better. No, but it's real though. It's like, yo, because you, you, you say to yourself, oh, I don't care if that person wishes me happy birthday, but it's like, why the fuck didn't that person wish me happy birthday? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so weird. And there's like a sliding scale of the things people do to wish you happy birthday that like make you feel good based on your expectations of them. Like if it's a, if somebody who like I'm not very close to goes above and beyond, my expectation was so low, they went above and beyond. I'm like so touched and like blown yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. But it's unfair that the people I'm closest to have to do something huge for me to be blown away. That's unfair. I think birthdays are important, though, because I think we're all so tender on our birthdays, like how you're feeling oh, right yeah, now. Yeah. I never felt like this when I was younger about birthdays. Not at all. The older I get, I'm crying on birth. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even, I'm like literally like in tears and like I really do appreciate my people's birthdays, right? Like people yeah. that I love and I care about and I think it is important to acknowledge like, hey, I know this is your day. Happy born day. And, 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 and not just because of a social media post like, Nah, man, send some flowers. Yeah. Send a bottle of wine. You know what I mean? Put some thought into 
writing a little card and just letting them know, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yo, they appreciate it, you know? And then, then yeah. you know, you feel a way too, because it's like, well, damn, did they receive my bottle of wine? Because he didn't acknowledge it. Yeah. But does he not like wine? Does his wife not like wine? No, alcohol? no, I like the bottle of wine. It was a weird bottle too. What was it? I don't know. It was like some <laughs> I don't know. It was, I just, no, I it was just, called like prisoners or something. It was somebody like wrapped in chains. I was like, did you get this? The at fuck the, up. I swear to God. <laughs> I was like, I thought you literally got it from the till screening and then brought it and then like sent it directly there. It was a no, weird choice. I just told my assistant I said, get him a nice bottle of wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't I don't believe you. Yeah, I swear <laughs> to God. I had my wife send me a picture of it. It was like shocking. I was like, okay, what's no, going man, on here? But I do think that we should appreciate birthdays because man, we live in a world where yeah. people are waking up dead every day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And when you talk about 39 years old, I'm 44. Bless. What? Do you but can, you think know about what? All the people that didn't make it to thirty nine, bro, that didn't yeah. make it to forty four. No, you're right. And it, but it also is cool because it gave me perspective on like what I need to do for people's birthdays. Like this past year, I've been going a little bit harder for people's birthdays. But in the past, like I never put anything on it because I didn't expect nothing from mine. You know what I mean? Well, and the, the finances change, right? That's also true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a hundred percent. Finances change. But now I know that someone could be feeling that insecurity on their birthday. And I know that I could help them with that yeah, by making right. that effort. I'm know? telling you right now, I know I feel insecurity on my birthday. Why? I don't know. I don't know why at the, t at the tender age of 40 Because people could let you down. It ain't, it's not even just about the people. It's the fact that this is we're all getting older. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like this yeah. shit is not stopping for nobody. Yeah, like, I look yeah, at my yeah. daughter sometimes and I'm like, Yo, my daughter's 14. That's how I gauge my age now. I gauge my age. And through your children's age. Your children. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, when I first had my daughter, I was 20. Nine. Yeah. I literally turned thirty-two days later. Yeah, her birthday is two days before mine. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and so it's like I'm looking at her. The older she gets, the older I'm getting. And I really do think about life. Like now, my 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 perspective is different. Like when I was young, think about how we used to look at like thirty and forty. Like, damn, that's old as shit. Yeah. But now I'm looking at sixty somethings. I'm really looking at Steve Harvey and like. I Steve's 65, his kids are 20 something. That's fly to yeah, me. Some yeah. of his kids work with him. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm looking at now. But I think that that's why I saw.